the way I can't give up today Even through all this pain What's up, YouTube? This is Living the Life with J. Shell Lanye. And yes, you guessed it. This is your girl, J. Shell. Um, this is my first YouTube video. And I just want to let y'all know exactly what I'm going to be covering and talking about in my blogs. First of all, I want to, um, I'm going to be talking about nursing school because I am in nursing school. I'm also a mother of five. Yes, I said five. How did I get to five? <sighs> Stay tuned, keep watching, and you'll find out. I'm also um, prior military and married to a military um, spouse. So just think about how busy my life is. Um, and I also work on the side. So with that being said, stay tuned to um, some more blogs and videos on those um things. I'm also going to talk about my faith because of course, like who would be here without God? All right. Anyways, to get into this video today, we're going to talk about my school. Um, I go to Galen uh, College of Nursing in Tennessee. And yes, okay, there's not a lot of videos on Galen. So I'm going to go ahead and break it down how um, the process went for me to get in. Okay. So first off, I had to go onto their website, of course, and, um, you know, sign a little enrollment stuff, and they called me. Um, now, the registration process is a little bit hectic. It can take like three weeks for what? Absolutely nothing. Something that really can take a couple of days, but they drag it out. So if you're planning to go, please start early because um, they're going to take their time. So with that being said, the first thing that I did um, after they called me um, was I obviously turned in my um, my uh, transcripts. Um, I sent them all my transcripts. Um, once they got my transcripts and they evaluated it, they let me know what classes that I still needed to take. Now, one thing that I really did not want to do was um, Galen makes you take a intro to nursing um, class that you have to take, um, with them. Um, also you have to take the information technology class, even if you already took the class. Ugh, what? I took like, I took it before. Why? Why, why am I doing it again? Anyways, also you have to take what they call GPS, which is Galen's pathway to success. Now this class is just like your normal, typical um, class that you take when you first start college. Okay. I've been to college before, but anyways, enough about that rant. Um, I ended up taking those classes anyways, along with ethics because, um, I did not take ethics. So, um, for this first term, I had enrolled in ethics, information and technology. Um, the um, GPS class and intro to nursing. Um, all the classes were online besides the intro to nursing and we had to go on to campus for that. Now, um, with that being said, when you first, um, before you enroll, you have to pay a fee. You have to pay a $200, um, fee before they will enroll you to your classes. You will also talk to a person, a financial aid person, um, and then from there, you will talk to, you will wait and talk to a register. You also have to um, take a online um, class. It's just basically like going through, um, taking your classes online, where everything's at. They have about six little quizzes that you take at the end of it. Um, and you get your little hundred and you move on. Um, after that, and you register for your classes, they're going to send you another link. Yes. What did I say? Another link, another link. So, and this link is just, um, for technology. Um, so aside for that, they just go over a lot of technology stuff. Most of the stuff you already know, just do it. Um, anyways, so then after that, <laughs> After all of that, <laughs> then you are good to go. Your first term, um, your register will register you. 
Um, after your first term, you get to register yourself. Yes, again, register yourself. Now, I go to a fairly new um, Galen, which just opened up in January. So we don't have as many options as the other campuses, like uh, San Antonio, um, the campuses in Florida, um, maybe like the Miami campus. Um, they have more um, classes and stuff to choose from. So you can, when your registration period opens, you can register your own self. That's one of the things that I like about Galen because you know, you kind of somewhat get a little bit more control of your schedule than regular nursing schools where they just pick your schedule and you have to kind of go off of that. Um, but anyway, so after that, it was just pretty much a waiting period. Um, a lot of your online classes, you the books are already online. But once you start taking your nursing classes, of course, you have to purchase those books. Um, but you can find the book list on the website for both the ADN and BSN and LPN and Bridge. All that stuff you can is public. You can go on there and you can um, find that. Um, also, you know, you'll get your passwords, um, how to set up your canvases, all those things. And it took me about three weeks. So like I said, if you're planning to go, then, you know, you might want to start early. Um, you have to take the T's, um, in order to get in. Now, one other thing that I find very nice about Galen is you can take the T's. You can take the HESI, you can take the SATs, you can take the ACT. And as long as you pass with the grade that they want, you're in. So I like that because um, most schools, they have a designated test for you. So you either have to take the HESI or you either have to take the T's. And if you took in one of the other ones, oh, well, you got to take it again. So that's one of the good things. I think... Um, in order to get into the ADN program, I want to say you only had to have a 54 um, on your T's to get in. And I want to say maybe like a 56 with your BSN. Um, I find it kind of lower than, you know, some of the other schools. But of course, there's no waiting list. Now, Galen is probably expensive um, because it's obviously a non-traditional school. But, um, of course, if you have financial aid or grants or VA or scholarships, um, that's definitely going to help you. Now, um, I will say that um, the registration process is the process that gets everybody. Nobody likes it. Nobody seems to be able to get in touch with these people. But when you get into the program, I mean, when you get into the program, it's like I fit right in. I love it. I love the professors. I love the school. Um, it does come with, of course, the <laughs> the normal drama that nursing school comes along with. And, um, but I mean, of course, like we all know that every nursing school is going to have its problems. Every nursing school is not going to always do everything the right way or the uh, logical way. Um, so I will say that, um, other than that, it's, um, it's very nice. And, um, in one of my videos, I'm going to have to do a campus tour because we're a new facility and everything's like state of the art, brand new, hasn't been touched. We will be the first ones to touch and the first graduating class. So I am excited about that. I graduate next year of December and I literally cannot wait. Now, because I transferred in so many credits, um, really, I'm done um, with all my prereqs um, and starting July right after the 4th of July, um, I start fundamentals. Now, I'm doing fundamentals by itself. Fundamentals alone in Galen is 12 credit hours. Um, and my schedule is Wednesday, Friday. I go Wednesday and Friday from 7 in the morning to 5.30. 
literally a whole day. And that's not including clinicals. Now, clinicals um, will be a few weeks after we start. Um, and then that's another day. <laughs> that's going to be a full day. And then I have to study. And then I have to work. And then I have to take care of my kids. And then I have to put up with my husband. I think that's the hardest thing. Trust me. Putting up my husband. Y'all. 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 That's the worst than putting up with my kids. Okay. And those of y'all that are married, y'all definitely will understand. But anyway, so back to the topic of um, Galen. So, um, I wanted to bring this content because when I started to look into these schools and I started looking into Galen, there was not many videos at all. I think I may have found two people, maybe three people that actually even talked about Galen and, um, I wanted to bring more content. Um, so I'm going to take you along on my adventure with Galen, um, orientation was simple um we went in we got a bag we got a shirt we got a little a couple little things um we went over how the program was going to work we answered questions it was literally one day um we played some games and kind of got to know our cohort a little bit and um, that was all for um, orientation. It wasn't really a big, you know, long, drawn out couple of day event. Um, and now I'm going to be on campus more. Now I am about 45 minutes away. So I do be having a drive in the mornings. Um, but I enjoy the drive, to be honest. I'm not even going to lie. Um, and so we're going to see how this journey goes. We're going to see where it takes us. I know I'm going to be stressed. Let me tell y'all, just look, look at me now. I have bags. I just got off of work y'all. So please don't judge me, but I worked 11 to seven last night. And when I got home, my kids were not feeling well. And I had to be up with them, uh, making sure that they were good and their fevers were breaking. And it was like multiple kids. I'm like, oh my God, like, Lord, why, why, why me right now when I just want to go to sleep? Okay, I just want to sleep, but of course not. So now I got these bags under my eyes. Um, I also need to get back into the gym because since I've been out the military, I've had the hardest time getting back into the gym. Like I've had the hardest time, and so my skin has really been showing it. Um, and I really need to get into working out. So I would like for y'all to keep me accountable because I need to make sure that I stay up on my schedule. And I'm going to say, I'm going to go, I have not wrote my schedule for this term yet. No, I have not. I didn't barely even follow my schedule for last term. So we're going to have to get this together. Now I'm doing wonderful in my classes and my, actually my intro to nursing class I have a 96 in and um, I did pass my um, dosage calculation test with a hundred. Yes, I did. Your girl got a hundred and I do not like math, but we had to have at least a 90 um, to pass the class. Um, you do get three chances to pass that um, exam. Um, so don't worry if you don't get it on the first try, you have two more tries, um, to get it. And it's fairly easy because it's only the beginning. Now, after, uh, foundations, um, my next quarter in September will be, um, pharmacology and med surge one, the first med surge. And, um, I'm not looking forward to pharmacology because I do not like dosage calculations. Um, but we're going to see how it goes. We're going to study, 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 and we're going to make this and we're going to become this great nurse next year. Um, so also too, I have been in my journey of, 
you know, my faith. So I have really been trying to get grounded in my faith again because since I've been taking on so much responsibility, it's like my time just goes like this. And everybody keeps telling me, Jay, you need to slow down. But uh, slow down where, honey? How? Please let me know how I can slow down because um, I can't. I got to feed these kids. Five kids? Five kids? Y'all, it be real up in this house. Let me tell you just how much our grocery <laughs> list is, honey. When I tell you I spend over a thousand dollars for food just for food that's just for food um it's crazy it's crazy and with prices going up gas prices food prices all them prices um your girl gotta stay employed um so really i can't take time to slow down i have to keep it pushing now i can slow down after graduation but I want to be productive and that's my thing. I think I want to be productive. I want to be productive when I get up. I want to have my time where I have with God and my devotional and start my day because I think obviously it's so important how you start your day. If you start your day, if you get up and you got an attitude, it's going to carry out throughout the day. If you get up and you in a good mood, you know what I'm saying? You're more likely to continue that good mood. So I want to wake up and I want to give thanks to God. I want to do my devotionals. I want to journal. I want to start reading my Bible. I need to start going to the gym. I need to be able to plan my day. Um, and my kids are pretty much on a schedule. It's me that's on the schedule, which is crazy. Because normally if you're not on a schedule, your kids aren't on a schedule. But they're more on a schedule than I am. And um, that's saying something, especially being in nursing school, you definitely got to be organized. Y'all, get me all the way together. I need to get together, okay? Period. Now, um, I'm like I said, I'm going to start taking you guys along with me starting my next quarter, starting July. Um, after um, New Year, I mean, New Year's, I'm already in the next year starting um after the 4th of July um I'm going to take you guys on campus and let y'all see the facility and let y'all see what we're going to be doing now I did meet my professor already for fundamentals and she did say that our first fundamentals test is 11 chapters wait what <laughs> Wait, what? 11? 11? Oh, honey, where are we going to read all this? 11 chapters? When? When? When do we have time to read these 11 chapters? Okay, anyways, <sighs> off of that rant, we're going to get it done. We're going to get it done, guys. We're just, I mean, we don't have no choice. I mean, we want to be a nurse, so we got to do what we got to do. Anyway, y'all, so we're going to, we're going to, we're going to get that done. But, then, but then too, we have, I mean, so much, so much to do. I understand why it's 12 credit hours and I'm so thankful that I only have to take that class and I don't have to take any prereqs with it. Now with Galen, you can take your prereqs with your nursing classes, certain ones. So like, um, ethics, you can take with any of your nursing classes. Um, I think it's the classes that are not science or math that you can take with your um, core classes. But I've already completed all my core classes. Thank God. So I don't have to worry about that. I can just focus strictly on the nursing classes um, by itself. Um, also, um, I think that it's just going to be, it's going to be a good year. It's going to be a good next year. Um, we're going to make it to graduation. I'm so ready to take you guys on my journey. I'm so ready to grow. I'm so ready to just <laughs> be just, I mean, Y'all, it has been such a long journey because I have tried to go to nursing school 
when we were stationed in Alaska and we had to leave Alaska. We had a PCS. So basically, the core classes that I took, your girl had to take over again. <laughs> so here we are again. But now this time I'm starting early. So we just got here in November and we have at least three years here. So your girl have plenty of time to get it done and we're going to get it done. Also, um, I do already have a lot of nursing stuff, like supply stuff. So I will pull that out when it gets closer to July. Um, so that way you guys can see what I'm going to be taking with me um, to school and to my clinicals. Now, I did one thing that I want to say is I did have like a backpack and your girl back was killing her. Uh-uh, man. You already know. Um, I'm not doing a backpack no more. But I do like the roller backpacks. And I think that I'm going to do that because, you know, your girl can just, you know, lift up the handle, roll the bag, you know what I'm saying, and keep it pushing. So I'm going to do that. And then um, I think I'm going to get a new clinical bag, but I'm not sure exactly what kind of clinical bag that I want to get yet. Um, so yeah, so my channel will definitely be about, you know, the life of your girl, the life of, you know, being a nursing student, a wife, um, dealing with five kids working. Um, I do work for, um, shift key agency. So I love that because I get to pick my shifts and when I want to work. And I'm not committed to a schedule. Now, your girl is also an MA. And from time to time, I do dabble in that. Um, but for the most part, um, I like picking my schedule. I like because of, you know, everybody knows nursing is um, demanding and it demands all your time. So being able to pick your schedule is the best thing ever. Um, and constantly meeting people, you just get used to, like, I get used to just meeting people, um, and interacting with them because at first I used to go there and be quiet because I'm like, mm, I don't know these people. Um, I may never even see these people again, but your time do go by fast when, you know, you got somebody good working with you. Um, and you guys are able to just gel and chill, relax, conversate. You ain't mean you ain't gotta give them your whole life, but I mean, you know, everybody got something in common, um, with each other. So that's gonna that's gonna be my thing. So y'all gonna see me start to get up in the mornings, get my kids ready, um, do my devotionals, go to the gym, get myself together, girl, because I got to glow up, honey. Because if you look at my pictures before I went from two to five kids, you would be like, "What is you doing with your life, sis? Like, where? What have you been?" <laughs> Come on, get it all the way together. So we gonna do that. We we gonna we gonna get it together. Um, and that's about. I mean, that's about it. I want to go ahead and end this video because it is getting long. Um, also, you know, if you guys got questions for me, if you want to know anything about the military, if you want to know anything about Tennessee. If you want to know anything about Galen, if you want to know anything about how I deal with my five kids, if you want to know whatever, just, um, you know, hit me up. You know what I'm saying? Send me a message. Hit me in my DMs. You know what I'm saying? And I will get back to you. And I hope that eventually when you guys start seeing more and more of my content, you guys will subscribe to my channel now i'm not very very tech savvy so if you see this video and be like uh sis need to get it together please comment tell me what you guys use to get your pages together to polish to edit to do all those things um so i can start getting my page together and i can start editing and i can start doing you know my stuff because i am older y'all like i'm not even gonna lie i want to cry but you know what i'm saying <laughs> 
40 is knocking at my door, y'all. 40 is knocking at my door. And I just, I don't know where the time went. And I was like, am I really that old? Am I really that? And then I got a birthday coming up. July 28th. <laughs> okay, birthdays. Y'all can slow down now, okay? Y'all can slow down. I mean, when I was young, I was ready to get grown. But who says that parenting is fun? Adulting is hard, y'all. I don't want to be adult no more. Can we quit? Can I quit this job? Okay, anyway, enough of that nonsense. Um, Please like and subscribe, and I will see y'all next time. Love y'all. Mwah.